Welcome back to the Vicarage Garden on this Sunday, which is the sixth one after Easter, also called Rogation Sunday. Jesus said these words, I will not leave you orphaned, I'm coming to you. He said these words just before he ascended back to his Father in heaven. And he was reminding the disciples who he'd been with for 40 days after the resurrection that he was going to leave them but he wasn't going to leave them alone. He was going to tell them to wait for the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit would come and bring comfort, the one who would be an advocate, the one who would empower them. So what does he say to them? He says, I will not leave you orphaned. Today, we do feel so much orphaned. We are cut off from our families through this pandemic. Many of us don't see our families and friends. We may be doing it on Skype, Facebook, however we do, we do it. But it's not the same, is it, as just chatting with one another and having that cup of tea or that coffee. But you know, Jesus reminds us, just like he reminded those disciples, I'm going to the Father to give you the Holy Spirit who will not leave you alone. And he also reminds us to abide in him as I abide in you. He reminds the disciples what it is to actually stay close to the Lord. To abide in Christ is to love him, to receive his love but also to love others. Our God is relational. He comes always alongside us to help us in our need. We are precious to the Lord. We are never forgotten by him. Jesus was the one who loved, was an advocate to those who were poor and marginalized to those with disabilities, to the lepers and strangers and the imprisoned. He fed the hungry and healed the sick. How? All through the work of the Holy Spirit that he promised to give to his disciples and will give to us, his followers, the church. Do you know, no pandemic will halt the work of the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit sends us out as messengers of God's love to the poor today to the homeless, the young and the old, sick and rejected, the unhappy, the sorrowful, the lonely and the dying. I have been overwhelmed by the generosity of those in our communities who have donated to the food bank, who shopped for the vulnerable, phoned parishioners and made scrubs for the NHS. Wonderful acts of kindness and generosity a reminder that no one is orphaned in God's eyes. I have been reflecting on the wonderful chorus, uh, quite an old one, Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on me. Melt me, mould me, fill me, use me. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on me. As we wait to celebrate Pentecost next week, Make that a prayer, that we, as God's people, will be filled with his Holy Spirit, melted by him. Love has the power to heal. It has the power to lift drooping heads and fill empty hearts. And Jesus was God's love incarnate, God's love in the flesh. Love has the power to heal and that's what God can do. Yes, he heals the broken heart. He fills the emptiness of loss. He can comfort the lonely and strengthen the weak. And sometimes we feel like orphans, but we have a father who loves us. And we have a savior who triumphed over death. We have the Holy Spirit, God's presence to bring faith to life. And because of that, we have the peace that passes all understanding to keep our hearts and mind 
in Christ Jesus. So with those words of encouragement, I hope to see you in a couple of days. And as I always end every reflection, uh, make sure that you stay safe and remind yourself often, Jesus loves you. You're precious in his sight. We'll be back with you shortly. God bless.